I'm Vikas from Applied Materials. I have a question for Bhutesh. Sir, uh, you mentioned right at the beginning of your speech that we missed the boat on four occasions. What makes you think and what actions do we need to take that we succeed the next time? All right. So, Oh, sorry, so that, that is you know, like, like what Dr. Gupta is saying. That's why we are having that this panel discussion panel so that discussion. we don't miss the next boat, right? I know, but uh, are there concrete actions? Because I heard all everything that ESA has submitted. We need a concrete plan, right? Yeah. We should be tired of these failures. Technically, we are competent. We do this across the world. All of us who work Absolutely. for multinationals or who have worked outside, we have done it. We continue to do it. Why not here? And what concrete actions are we proposing either through ESA or through policy? or through entrepreneurship to make that happen. See, on the entrepreneurship side, I don't think there's an issue. And, and I'm being frank right now because I've been an entrepreneur for almost about, you know, over 20 years. And, and today what I see, which is available right now in the country, is far, far ahead of what is really available in many of the developing countries across the globe. Not developing, I'm saying developed countries across the globe. Leave, leave the US out, but I'm talking about Europe. Okay, I think India is far better poised for entrepreneurship right now. Second, I think we are very, very well off in terms of, you know, a plethora of ideas that keep coming to us. For example, one of the questions that, that was there, which says, can we design a product which is five years down the line? I personally don't think so, but I think we can create products or services which, which are, you know, really, really going to be useful as far as global markets are concerned. What is missing, and, and this is something which is based upon my experience with entrepreneurs right now, is one thing that I think we all lack as, as entrepreneurs over here is we lack world vision. We are not completely aware of what are the things that, that people are really looking for. Okay, so that's, that's something which is really missing. That's one of the things that, that we are trying to do in a very small way to see how is that we can you know, connect up entrepreneurs from overseas with entrepreneurs in India so that then there is, there is information exchange that really happens over there. Can you give some concrete suggestions to government and IESA to push to make that happen? I think. Uh, uh, is that, because we are running out question? of time, that's why I'm cutting the time. I know, we're off, right? 48 seconds away. <laughs> All right. But out of that, you only have, have 10 seconds, right? All right. <laughs> so I'll, I'll close with that right now. We have 10 seconds. But maybe we could discuss this offline. That would be perfect. Any more questions? One more question from me. Sure. Uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we saw some figures in the morning that 75% of the mobile phones which we are importing due to the differential cost factor. And we cannot do it here. So how we can say that with the policy, ESDM policy, um, we can meet, we can earn that revenue back into India. On the other side, you are saying that we cannot do it due to the differential pricing. So we have to import from the other countries, which is the major chunk of the total uh, revenue, which we are showing in the uh, figures. 50 billion or something by 2020. But the major is 75 percent is from the mobiles and tablets. And when we cannot do that in India, as he pointed out, then how we can promise that revenue to all the people here and uh, promote a policy which is not realistic? Sure. I don't know, it's, uh, it came out that we cannot do it here, but it's a business issue, not a technical issue. So the question the gentleman there asked is that technically can we do it, right? Business-wise, if somebody using all the policies and incentives is able to put up a business model which is sustainable and profitable, certainly it can be done. I think there is no doubt it can be done because we have the capability. But somebody has to come up and put the business model which is sustainable and profitable. So that's where basically we are at today's juncture is that, uh, is it, see because we create the policy, we give the recommendation and all those things, but at the end of the day, a businessman has to come, stand up, create a business model and say, if I do this in India, I'm going to make more profit, right? At the end of the day, that's the game, right? So today, tomorrow, Microsoft, uh, Micromax guys or Lava guys, right? They are the one who should say that, not me and you. That environment and policies and all of those things are, sufficient enough to make them a profitable product in India. If they are getting a 10% more profit, why will they not do it in India? I don't see any reason. So is it related to fab? If there is a fab here, here in India, is it for... It's not product? related to the fab. Not the cell phone product. manufacturing has no relation to the fab. Okay. China also doesn't have any fab which produces the components for the cell phone. They produce the components for other things, right? But cell phone, it has no relation with the basically chip manufacturing as per se. Probably we should be more realistic in providing the revenue figures 
to the entrepreneurs here so that they can plan in the right way uh, for what product actually they should aim. Because we are showing you very huge figures, at the same time we say that we cannot do it in India. No, no, no. we are not saying we cannot do it. Somebody has to step up and take the advantage of all of those things and could create a business model, right? It needs effort, guts, everything together. It's a business decision at the end of the day. Excuse me, I have a question. You have to take mic. I can't, we can't, none of us can hear. My voice is not so, so powerful, so I have no. to The mic guy is coming in the back. We are almost out of the time. Probably Don't last worry. question. Yeah. Uh, my name is Raj, Mr. Uh, Satya. <laughs> actually, my question is, uh, it's more of a suggestion actually. Every time, every year I come here and uh, ISA is doing a lot more things, pulling all the leaders together, a lot more innovation and all those things. But now we are discussing a lot more things like IOE and uh, so many other new technologies. My suggestion is uh, why, why don't we create kind of consortium where all the technical people come and share their technical uh, knowledge. So that will be helpful for all the people, you know, to drive the specification, say, particularly for IOE. There is no specification as such. There's, there's no idea how the devices are going to interconnect. So why don't we pioneer in giving those uh, specifications, you know, why don't we, we do something for that, like IEEE, IEEE or IETF, any standardization, why don't we, why, why don't uh, IESA do some initiative on that? Okay, we'll pass on your suggestion to the champions at IESA, Helm, and uh, let's see. Although there is a technical side of this, basically this thing, uh, there is a VLSI conference happens every year, uh, where more, it's more, uh, Vision Summit is more business and policies and all those oriented. The VLSI conference is more basically. Uh, See, after that, there is no follow-up happens. You know, that's that's what. Uh, yeah, you guys, you are the young leaders, have to create this now, right? Uh, so I think we will. If there are no further questions, we will end this session here. Uh, I'll just take one minute to summarize. In terms of the opportunities, we have heard basically four broad areas, which is, uh, which I consider the next three pillars after Roti Kapra Makan, which is uh, uh, energy, healthcare, and education, which everybody needs, and I think all of you pointed at these are the three big opportunity areas. And in addition to that, basically, agriculture came up as a uh, one big opportunity where India, if innovates today, can have deep benefit in basically next three to five years, right? Uh, in terms of the uh, issues, in terms of the product development, Certain there is uh, uh, some work still needs to be done on the policies and the uh, mm, uh, overall ecosystem, it can be improved. Uh, from a disability point of view, we heard that uh, uh, the supply chain and uh, the time to procure the components and basically time to development procurement is still lot more to be achieved compared to the more advanced manufacturing nations. And certainly at the end of the day, with all these policies, uh, uh, the whole product has to make a business sense for an entrepreneur or businessman to put his money and make the profit out of it. Uh, we heard few things about that, but I think uh, uh, with a lot of policies now getting into the implementation phase, some of that basically gap should be uh, erased and we should be able to become more competitive. Uh, with that, I would like to thank all the audience. Uh, my fellow panel members, uh, we had a good, uh, exciting session. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, uh, good beginning of the VS session. Yeah, uh, before we leave the uh, panelists, I would request Mr. Vivek Tyagi to kindly come over to the podium and give a very to the moderator and the speakers. I would request Dr. Satya Gupta to kindly accept a memento from uh, Mr. Vivek Tyagi, the director of the Institute of Media from uh, Thank you, Dr. Satya Gupta. Also to Mr. Krishnan Narayana, SPPAS of Technologies. Mr. Guhesh Ramanathan, CEO and co-founder of uh, Excubator. Uh, Dr. Radha Michel, uh, President and CEO of Image uh, Networks. And finally to Mr. Vishwakumar Kakar, the
co-founder and CEO of uh, Sakya Life. Once again, uh, we would like to thank the panelists for a very thought-provoking session about product innovation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will take a 15-minute break, so do come back, and after the tea, we'll have a very, very interesting session about the initiatives by the state for the ESTM sector. 